something that's that's college related, I guess you could say. Uh, the player doesn't play for anybody as of right now, but Oregon signee. Now he he's not with the program anymore, but Luke Hill was arrested on eight different charges. He's a he was a cornerback signee and a major major talent. They expected him to help uh, shore up that defense this year. He was going to contribute pretty much immediately, um, and then. The, this whole thing happens. Now, I think they got wind of this, and obviously Oregon cut ties with him back, you know, February, I guess it was. Uh, I think he signed in December, and they they just said, I, right, you know, we're going to let you out of this. We're not going to be able to take you. These are the eight charges. Attempted loaded handgun on... That's a weird... I, I thought I read that different. Attempted loaded handgun on person. Oh, yeah, yeah. Handgun on person, possession of a firearm by a minor... Use of an assault weapon, use of a firearm, attempted first-degree murder, reckless endangerment, and first-degree assault. Um, Now, this is in Maryland. This is, I mean, crazy. Cristobal said today uh, he was informed earlier this spring that he would not be a member of our program. Uh, This stuff happened in June. How in the world did nobody know anything about this? Or or do you think that college programs, because Oregon wasn't the only one after him, do you think that people just, eh, we'll recruit him, and if something happens, then we'll, we'll cut him. But until then, I mean, he's too talented not to take. Do you think that's what happens in these situations? I, I honestly have no idea. I mean, I know in the criminal world, in, in like the, the trial world, that like, yeah, you can, you can commit a crime, and I mean, it does take almost a year sometimes to get you into trial. You have the right to a a speedy trial, but you don't always want to take that right. I, I have several friends that are attorneys, and many a times they will push continuance, push and push and push things back because they want from what you did to when you're actually on trial of it to be so far apart that witnesses have their story a little mixed up. They get confused. They forget one detail. You drive home on that detail. Now you've, you've broken the credibility of that person. So their whole testimony is taken out. I mean, it, there's a reason you push these things back in the, in the trial situation and our courts take just a long time. I have no idea about the news of it or how, how that all got out. Did the schools know that this was a possibility? There is a level of, innocence until proven guilty but if yes if you pre- mean, some of these crimes like you know these people did it okay like you know the, the robberies that happened in, with the nfl guys like we all know they did it yeah. because they were at the party they didn't show up at the party masked and rob the place they were there and then decided to rob it like we know it happened McKinnon, there's, there's, McKinnon you know, jumps in with a very interesting point here. He said the gun charges aren't surprising in Maryland. They're one of yeah. the hardest states on gun control. They've been yep. known to twist a lot of things on any charges regarding firearms, so the university could have very well waited to see if it was true or not. There that would make sense. That so, does, And also now our, our court system does a whole lot of, at the end of the day, we know one of the charges is this kid had a gun. Okay? Right. So they turned that into four of the charges. Right. Is, you know, it, it, that. Because that, of his age, because of everything else, because he was. Yeah, you, 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 know. you continue to put the gun in these different boxes. And, and now we've got, instead of one charge, dude, gun, that's a charge. Now we have four different charges because we're going to drill home on all of them. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're right. This is, uh, it's pretty crazy. It was, it was a interesting thing that popped up because obviously super talented kid this happened last june you would have to think that this kind of thing gets around in circles right hey this kid got arrested he had all this stuff happen uh even before and and he and he played last year like for his high school so you know that kind of stuff is it's it, it was very strange to me that they went ahead and signed the kid and everything and then i guess they found out you know, come February, hey, something more serious is going to come down the line. Um, we're not going to be able to to keep you on campus. Now, 
Other programs, I wonder if they would have just kept them. You know, that's that's what goes a little crazy. Um, Matt said, goes to East Mississippi Community College, then bounces out to a D1 school. Yeah, that's a, typically what these last chance you things are all about, right? <laughs> all right, we'll, uh, we'll hop off of that one. Let's dive.